Hey guys, I do it's Kev Tick here bringing another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Happy Saturday. And today I want to go over um a product called Shodan. Obviously, if you're new to my channel, you know what to do. Rate, comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Greatly appreciate it. So today I want to go over a product called Shodan, and Shodan allows you to basically look at vulnerabilities around the world. Um, that's make it simple in a nutshell. Um I do want to go over this a little bit with you and show you how it works. I actually got a member, a member for life access. Um, it was on special at some point, like I think last year of 2022. So I took advantage of that and I, I have access to do whatever I want pretty much on it. But obviously for um, legal purposes, you know, ethical hacking, you know, don't, don't do anything crazy. I don't want you getting in trouble. I just want to show you how this product works and that's it. Okay. Let me sh share my screen. All right. So screen uno. So here is the website, or here is, I guess, the the dashboard. It's shodan.io-dashboard. And you can see this, this pricing right here. You can see that what is Shodan. It, it tells you in a nutshell. You click on it, it will tell you what it is. Um, it's always like devices are connected. Um, you see the different devices here are connected and stuff like that and how they talk to each other, network security, cyber risk. Just basically it tells you, what things are open, what things are not open. When this is what this is where I why I talk about like ports and understanding how ports work and stuff like that, because you need to make sure that your ports are protected, right? At the end of the day, you don't want someone getting into your system randomly, whether it's just a surveillance camera or a computer or a laptop, if that makes sense, right? So I'm gonna click on maps. And literally you can see all the maps right here. And and um what I did was because I want to know which which, uh, um, I guess, which PCs are vulnerable to 3389. So what I'm going to do is, just give me a second. I'm going to do 3389. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to search 3389. Like, what are you doing? I'm searching for 3389. So that is our remote desktop protocol. Uh, basically, it allows you to remote in to PCs and it shows you more information. So it says here that we have a total of 6,796 results. If you guys don't know what that means, it's remote desktop protocol. And what does that mean? Basically, you go in here, you type remote desktop connection and you can remote in with your IP address, right? And sometimes in, in IT land, right? In IT land, if you want access to that, you gotta go to computer management. Uh, you gotta go to local users, you gotta go to groups. And it's a thing called remote desktop users. You got to add them in there. And obviously there are other ways to get into it, which is basically you go into your PC, you right click uh, this PC, you hit properties um, and you go into uh, it. We re uh, renamed this PC advance. Uh, you go to remote and then right there is allow remote connections to this computer. You select the user and add them in there. Okay. So just what, that's basically what it is in a nutshell. So you guys aren't confused or you're like, oh, what's he talking about? So if you click on the blue icon right here, it will give you more information on this. And I, I want to go base, I want to go based on the United States. See if you could break it down to different countries here, which is crazy. And I'm gonna go back. Uh I'm gonna hit the United States because that's where I live. I live in the United States. And I want to know which ones are have vulnerabilities with 3389. Obviously, you could go and look at the other ones, but this is 3389, specifically 3389. And for some reason, Amazon technology is coming up. <laughs> I don't know why. Amazon.com is coming up. Google LLC is coming up. I'm going to hit more. Uh, let's just see what's going on over here. There's a bunch of them. Oh, my goodness. All right. So this will give you a rough idea of... The, the different IP addresses and the different computers that have vulnerabilities, basically. Um, I want to hit more over here. Uh, is, is New York here? New York is not here. Oh, they're on there. Okay, I see one here. Okay, cool. So here you click on this little arrow key, and it will give you more information. And it looks like it doesn't work. Click over here. Oh, here we go. There we go. So it tells you they have open ports. That one puts two twenty two, uh, and three three eight nine, um, which is not good, and it gives you more more uh, more uh, information about it. and the CVE, um, uh, so cyber vulnerability expert exploitation uh, exploration expert I can't pronounce it but I, I'll go look for CVE CVE so you guys know what that is CVE security. 
Um, yeah, sorry. I, it's common vulnerability and exposures. Me, I'm, I'm, uh, I need more coffee today. But yeah, basically, it's this website. So if you guys don't know about this website, it's called cve.mitre.org. And basically, you can go in here, and basically, you get information about different common attacks. So you could put your, you could put CV record right here, uh, all CV on the website, and it basically takes you a different website and it tells you information about the website. Um, and basically, you have information here on things that have happened in the past. Is and actually, when I when I actually did try hack me, it actually went over this. Like, what is this? Uh, like what, how does this work and stuff like that. So it actually gives you, actually they moved from the website, which is kind of interesting. Um, service now added a CV numbering right here. Uh, it tells you about that CV issue that they had. So here you enter the CV, like into the CV ID. So like I could go here and I should be able to copy and paste this and put it in here and hit enter and then hit find. And then it will tell you what it is. And it says remotely observe behavior in authentication USST open SSSH through 7.8 common uh, common remote attacks detect ex existence of users on a target system with GSS2 is in use no discover and that tells you here how to how to like what kind of attack it is it and you know it says netmap.com whatever and basically what what it is so you literally could go in here and and, and grab let me just close out of that and grab um information and there are different types of cve attacks if you see here which is very interesting and I'm, i'll go to this one too i could copy this real quick right and i could put it in here and do fine um and it's just fine right there and it tells you open ssh through 8.7 allow remote attackers who have suspicion of certain combinations of usernames public public keys known to ssh server so yeah so this is basically what it is um, it gives you a rough idea what it is. So it says three three eight nine is is uh, as an issue. Now, if you want to find like like ones that are online right now, like which computers are online right now with vulnerabilities on on Shodan, you click on images, and it'll give you a bunch of computers that have <laughs> that have logins that have issues with their computers, <laughs> which is crazy, right? When you think about it, uh, there is uh, two thousand eight R two. I can hit next and obviously that one is server that one is server 2012 r2 which is crazy uh and i could click on it i literally click on it by accident like this one right here there's a few other ones right here um it only has 29 2019 hit next i'm trying to see if there's any oh you know what let's do uh, uh windows XP is if anyone has any Windows XP machines, that'd be a very good thing to test. Oh my goodness, someone has Windows XP. Oh my goodness, and it looks like it's on the network. Okay, then why is there so many people on this one? Oh my goodness, Larry, let me see this one. So many people are logged into that one, but let me go. To, let me go to the XP one. Got me curious now as to why it's open like that. All right, so it has one, two, three, 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 eight, nine, eighty, eighty-eight, eighty, 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 open. Um, remote desk, okay. Remote desktop protocol is open. Um, it does not give me any information. It looks like everything is blocked here. Is the information here actually? So I have some information right here. Uh, I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna I'm gonna use um, uh, MX Toolbox, right? And I'm gonna go here. I'm going to do MX Toolbox, and I'm going to do Find Lookup Name. And it looks like there's no records here. Okay. All right. All right. So I'm going to go back here, and this is the domain. Is this domain. I'm not going to click on it. Um, Interesting. It says CV remote code execution verbally exists in remote desktop, formerly known as terminal services. Uh, when an authenticator attack connects to a target system using remote desktop, sends a specified craft request as remote desktop. Yeah, so it says terminal services. So, like, if you go into here, let me show you what the hell they're talking about. So, there's services here. Um, obviously, there's remote desktop services. Um, and then there's dependencies on top of it and stuff like that. But Basically, there's an issue right here. And if you click on it, it actually gives you more information. Or if you, uh, it's not working for some reason. Hmm. 
me go here then and I'll just copy this. All right. And I'm going to put it in here and I'm going to hit fine. Uh, remote desktop, on those terminal services, when authenticator attacks, gives you more information. Uh, it says it's affected by 7 for 32 bit, 7 64 bit. Um, the different versions that are affected by it. Uh, and some some references on the bottom. Interesting. When was this published? This was published in 2019. Updated 2021. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, so I just wanted to show you how this works. Um, if you want to know the pricing on it, um, and there's more information right here, obviously. But um, pulls out all this other stuff, right? Let me click on pricing because it's, it's getting very slow. So, yeah, so $69 a month. Three hundred fifty-nine dollars a month for small business. Corporate is over a thousand dollars a month. Um, I I got lucky. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, I got lucky because I got the member for life um, account, so I don't have to pay anything. So and I could mess around with this, and it's good for life for me. So I got I got lucky. Um, yeah, you just click overview. It gives you an overview information. That's my email address. You guys know my email address already. Um, billing. Uh, it's, it's a little slow for some reason, but this is pretty cool. If you look at it and you play around with it, like I could go here and I could put like uh P three A nine or eighty eighty, you know, check the map, and it gives you information about everything. So, um, tells you information about this as well. Um, you can actually you can actually do uh, if you have enterprise access, you could do a bulk download. Uh, you could set up network monitoring for a specific area. Like if I click on this, uh, and I do set up networking. You put the name of it. Um, you put the IP addresses that you're looking at, and set up a monitoring system. But yeah, that's it for me. Uh, I'm gonna stop sharing. Um, that is showed in a nutshell. Uh, I don't want to go over everything, but basically, you could go and check um, vulnerabilities on certain devices that are connected to the network. Uh, I, this is something that I, I got access to. So <laughs> I was like, let me just go over it real quick. Anyway, with that being said, I hope you have a good day. Take care. Peace. Bye.